Hello, Andrew Reby here to talk about some of the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid 2012 Release 1 again. In this episode, we will be discussing some general enhancements you can find in the new version of Cabinet Vision. The first thing I want to go over is the ability to handle curve tessellation lines in the program. What are curve tessellation lines? I'll go over that once I explain the new feature. To begin, we will need to go to the preferences while inside of a job. Now that we have the preferences dialog opened, we need to get to the detail tab. Now that we're on the detail tab, you can see the new curve tessellation option. We can use this option to set the amount of curve tessellation that is displayed to us. Now this goes hand in hand with another option that we can find in the advanced view properties dialog. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, here we find our new Show Curve Tessellation option. If we don't have this checked, we don't get any tessellation. Once we check this though, we will get an amount of tessellation lines that correlates to the amount specified in the Preferences dialog earlier. Now that I have shown this to you, let me take a moment to discuss what the Curve Tessellation thing is. Now, what I have here is a simple face frame cabinet with a 12 inch radius placed on the right end. Here you can see the curve tessellation lines. Now, if I set the curve tessellation detail to low, the lines are minimized. With that in mind, if I don't want the tessellation lines to show up at all, then I just uncheck the last option I showed you in the advanced view properties. Another change we made that I want to go over is how to exit out of running commands. When I say running commands, I mean like the wall editor, shape editor, cat editor, etc. When we started this version, we just had it so you could right-click twice. Then we decided that that wasn't really intuitive enough. Then we decided to make you click on the return item in the ribbon bar here. Still, we didn't like that. So finally we came up with the idea to add the return item from the ribbon bar into the actual right-click menu like this. Now when you're done doing whatever you were doing, you just right-click, then click on the return icon, and bam, you're out of the running command. I want to take a moment now to go over some of the changes we have made to the different views of Cabinet Vision. These changes will help to enhance the Cabinet Vision's usability. Let's start with the 3D view. The first big thing you should notice is the ability to change the room you are currently viewing. While you can change the room, you cannot add new rooms or lock or unlock cabinet numbering from here. Another thing is the job and room parameters here on the sidebar. You now have the ability to change them from the 3D view. Now let's check out the Reports view. Just like in the 3D view, you can change the room you are currently working on. Unlike the 3D view, though, you have the ability to create new rooms. You still can't lock or unlock cabinet numbering, though. And again, just like in the 3D view, you have access to the Job and Room parameters here on the sidebar. In addition, though, you can edit the cabinet parameters if you select a cabinet. Just a note, you also get to change or add rooms in the order of entry view as well. The next enhancement that I would like to go over is the increased visibility of selected constraints while editing the shape of objects in cabinet vision. What I have already done is take that face frame cabinet with the radius corner and gone into the shape editor with it. From here, I want to click on one of the cat elements. Now you can see the constraints for this element. Let's click on one of them. With the change that was made, you can easily differentiate between the constraints that are selected and those that are not. Finally, I want to show off the new menu command that allows you to remove all the constraints in an object. Let me just right click my mouse here and you can see now the new remove constraints command. Clicking on this command will remove all of the constraints from this object. Thank you for taking the time to view this demonstration. If you would like more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please feel free to visit the Cabinet Vision website at www.cabinetvision.com. For those of you viewing this video from eSupport, you can click on the hyperlink in this video to go there now.